if you ever feel like you have so many tasks on ClickUp, but you can't find the ones you need when you actually need them, then custom views are about to become your new best friend right here inside of ClickUp. In this video, I will show you exactly how to use custom views to filter, sort, and organize all of your lists and tasks so the right information pops up at the exact right time, right where you need them, saving you tons of time and stress. Today, we are going to talk about what custom views are, how to set them up, and at the end, I will share a couple of pro tips with you, so you better stick around because you don't want to miss out on those. Let's start by what are custom views within ClickUp? Now, custom views within ClickUp are possible in any of your views. If that is your board view, if that is your list view, if that is your box view, your calendar view, your workload view, you pretty much can apply custom views anywhere and everywhere in all of those lists. And I'm going to show you how. Now, why would you want to do that? Really simple. There's a lot of information in ClickUp. When you are running your project management through ClickUp, there is a whole bunch of custom fields and a whole bunch of tasks and subtasks and different use cases and different departments and different tasks and all the things. So we want to make sure you see what you want to see in different use cases. Now let's dive into what actually when we are here in ClickUp and like I can talk a lot, right? When we are right here in ClickUp, what is a custom view and how can we actually set those up? As I said, custom views is a filter and grouping of the tasks shown. And that can be done in your everything view, that can be done on folder level, that can be done on list level, that can be done anywhere in any of these views you see right up here. Now, how we do build custom views is by choosing our grouping. There is multiple different areas where you can group them by. Then you can choose, do you want to show subtask or not? We also have filters in here, which you can double up and triple up with multiple different variations of data points that you want to be shown. You also can choose your Memote, meaning all of your tasks are being shown or specific assignees. And we will dive deeper into those settings here in just a second when I show you multiple different use cases to use these custom views. So as I already hinted, there is many, 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 many different ways to use custom views right here in ClickUp for your use. You might have seen the on fire list that you can see right here in one of my past videos before where it's originally grouped by priority. So if you use your priority flag, that is the first grouping. That's why you see the normal flag right there, no priority. We don't use the priority flag often. And then the second sorting is by due date. This is one of the most simple custom views to set up, yet one of the most impactful ones. And we set that up at everything. You also can filter these by specific locations. So when you are, and this is location list, not your location custom field or anything, this is location list and you can choose which ones of the ones you want to see. Because if you are following my recommendation of the standard spaces, you will have an area that is your library or your company hub, where it's a collection of assets that you don't necessarily want to see in here. So with that, you want to make sure you really just show your clients, your customer success. I need the content creation. We do want to have the admin and we don't want the content database simply because those are library assets rather than actionable. Another use case scenario that you probably have seen in my video, how we manage our short form content is based on some custom fields. In this case, it's our short form content creation and we needed a view that only showed our Instagram content, that only showed our YouTube content and that only showed our TikTok content. However, we also want to see the past Instagram published content 
And this is exactly where custom views are really, really making life so much easier. Now I know not everybody creates as much content as I do. So I also wanted to really dive into how custom views allow you to build more of use case scenarios rather than, Hey, this is the content I want to publish there or here. So as you can see right here, you are in my client CRM that is built right here in ClickUp and in my leads and clients list. This is where I manage all of my leads, active clients, passive clients, and all the things that is happening with clients. So with this, I have different stages that clients are going through where in that lead process, we have an initial email, we have a no reply follow up, we have a magic email, we have our service recommendations, as well as our actual lead stages of we are in the talks, I've, we won the client, we lost the client, client, they're not ready for us yet, I referred them to somebody else, they're not a fit, and some other things. So with this, this is a custom view that allows me to keep track on where in this process my clients are. Now, when I'm on the call with the client, that stage does not matter. What I need to know is the client information. And as you only partially can see because my editor blurred out the personal information, this is company information of how big is their team? How many clients do they serve? Does their team work on an eight hour day or a 24 hour day? Who oversees project management and all these additional information? This is the information that I need when I'm on a call with them. I don't need to know where in the stage they are. I'm on a call with them. I'm on a discovery call. Cool. This is again where custom views are a godsend because now you have your use case scenario of client follow up. Who just went a little bit stale? Who do I need to follow up with? Cool. Who do I have discovery calls with? Who never replied? That is your lead stages. Then we have the lead info when you are on the call with them. Who am I talking to? What are their issues? What are we even talking about? As you can see right here in my active client list, this is grouped by none because all of these clients are active. We do expense subtasks. So when I set a subtask of, hey, follow up or schedule this or do that, I see this right away. And it only has one single filter, which is active client. This is why they are here. Now, this list is also specifically laid out to know actively what am I working with them on? What is the service they have? Who referred me to them? To have that big overview of really quick, I've been working with you, what's, what's going on? I've been on vacation for two weeks, let me refresh my brain so I know exactly what is going on. When you get in a really specialized custom view like we have for our short form content creation or right here, in my podcast where there is a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of custom fields that we put in here. There's a lot of information, a lot of customization, filters, grouping, all the things. You might not want to spend the time to rebuild this when you're working with a client or you are setting up your client and you build a custom view for your client in here. Here's my first little pro tip for you. When you go in here, you can go into the menu setting of your custom view. And you can save this as a template. Make your life easier. You might have spent, cust building custom views can take up to half an hour or even an hour with all the custom fields that are shown, with the sorting, how they are all arranged, with the filters, with the grouping, with all the things. You don't wanna redo that. With that, remember, you can template those views, but you also can easily duplicate them. So if you are building multiple different lists that need the same views, you can duplicate things. Or for example, on the uh, short form content example, you need one for Instagram and you need one for TikTok. You build out the one for Instagram, you duplicate this view and just change a couple of the filters because the rest is already done. This is how great custom views right here in ClickUp can be. Now I want to hear from you. Have you used custom views before? Is this a 
Holy moly, I didn't even know this is all possible. We here at Ask Evie build custom views for every single use case scenario because there is so many different things where on one hand, hey, I'm on a call, I need this information. No, I'm actually working on the task, I need this information. Sometimes I see with clients the issue that team members don't know how to find their tasks. A custom view and the everything view will do the job for that right here in ClickUp. So I really encourage you, go play around with custom views. When you have built this custom view right here in ClickUp, make sure the one you regularly use favorites so you have it easily accessible. And now I don't want to leave you hanging. I do have a video where I specifically dove into the on fire list and how to really make it simple for your team to find all the things they need right here in ClickUp for you. And remember to subscribe because we are bringing you even more custom capabilities right here in ClickUp.